Normally when you buy a soundbar, you're essentially trapped by that decision. Because if you want to upgrade it in the future, you can't. You're, you're stuck with what you've bought. For me, the most important thing about Be A Sound Theatre is not the fact that it's a soundbar or that it supports Atmos or has side firing and up firing drivers. Yes, it has all of that. But what's really exciting for me is the fact that it can support external speakers, up to 16 of them. So you buy a soundbar at the beginning, but then if you want to upgrade it in the future, you don't need to throw it out and start again with a new surround processor. You just add external speakers and increase the size of your surround system. Imagine, for example, you buy a car in the spring and then the fall comes around and you need snow tires on it and you find out you can't put snow tires on the car that you own. So you have to buy a whole new car with snow tires on it. This doesn't make any sense. Biosound Theatre is the same. If you buy the soundbar now and you find out next year what I'd really like are some ceiling speakers or some surround speakers, you just add them. You don't need to throw it out and start again. The difference with Biosound Theatre is that you're not trapped by it. You can add external speakers. You can upgrade it as you need to in the future. In a normal bass management system, what we do is we decide which speaker can handle the most bass, and we take all of the bass from all of the inputs and send it to that one. So for example, you have a subwoofer, it gets all of the bass and plays it all the time. With Biosound Theatre, it's completely different. What we're doing here is redistributing the bass to all of the speakers, so they all work together as one subwoofer. The advantage of that is that you get the most capability out of your entire system, but also that all of those speakers working together hold on to the room. So you get fewer resonances in the room and therefore a tighter bass over the entire listening area. In Biosound Theatre, what we've done is merged Dolby Atmos with True Image, which is our upmixing and downmixing algorithm. What that means is that if you have more channels coming in than you have speakers, let's say you have a 7.1.4 input, coming in from a movie or from music mixes, but you don't have that many speakers at the output, True Image will fold the incoming channels down to the speakers that you have, so you won't miss anything. On the other side, if you have more speakers than you have incoming channels, let's say you're watching the nightly news, there's only one channel coming in from the announcer's microphone, but you've got more speakers than that, then we upmix to the speakers you have so that you can hear the voice with intelligibility over your entire listening space. Of course, Be A Sound Theatre comes with a calibration microphone, and that doesn't just look at the distances and levels of the speakers at the listening position. It will do that. It will also find where they are in space, and so decide that's a left front, that's a right surround, and put those roles in for you. And finally, what it does is it measures the difference between what we expect you to hear and what you're actually hearing, and that's caused by your room's acoustics. When it can measure that, then it can undo the effect and make the sound closer to what we've designed in the listening room, in your living room.